9 p.m. by Afnan. Here is a fragrance that has been getting a lot of talk, especially over the past few years. It actually came out back in 2020, so it makes a lot of sense that people have been hyping it up for the past few years. Of course, this is said to be a clone or twist of Ultramall by Jean-Paul Gaultier. I've spent my time with it. I'm looking forward to giving you my thoughts on it very soon, so make sure to stay tuned. Before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on 9pm by Afnan, which is said to be an inspiration of Ultramall by Jean-Paul Gaultier, I'll tell you all about the notes, performance, comparisons, longevity, all that good stuff. But before I begin the video, I do want to mention that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up. It would really, really mean a lot to me. So of course you look at the note breakdown, there's vanilla, there's lavender, there's apple. It has a lot of the same notes as Ultramall with the exception that Ultramall has pear. So this is more of like an apple fragrance, Ultramall, Ultramall <laughs> is more of a pear fragrance. This one also has some spices and orange blossom. And of course, it's not just about that fruity vanillic thing. There are some things happening in the background that give it a little bit of complexity, but it's still rather linear. It doesn't change a whole lot on the skin, not much of an evolution, but it's still a really nice fragrance. I purchased mine from Amazon. So they had it for a really inexpensive price. Don't quote me, but I think it was in the vein of like 30 bucks and it's a pretty big bottle as well. So you might want to check it out if you're interested. I'm excited to give you my more in-depth analysis on the smell. Let's start things off with a quick look at the presentation first. Now, first up, as far as the smell is concerned, yes, you are gonna get the sweetness. The vanilla comes through. This is a sweet fragrance, and this is the reason why a lot of people would be inclined to say this is good for parties, this is good for the club, this is good for a night out. If you're going bar hopping or maybe even out on a romantic date, you wanna wear something with a little more pizzazz, you don't wanna wear something plain and linear like a Versace Pour Homme or even a Bleu de Chanel or a Dior Sauvage. You want something with a bit more character, maybe even a touch of sweetness. And we see that sweetness does work in many cases, you know, Versace Eros and there's Eros Flame, there's the Parfum version, there's so many flankers of Y, so that whole Tonka Bean Vanilla craze has been around for a while now and sweetness does work. And of course, with a name like 9 p.m., it's something that you wear at nighttime, right? After the sun has set and you're out and about doing your thing and I hope the night starts at 9 p.m. for you. I hope that's not when it ends. Nevertheless, I think this is a sweet leaning fragrance, a touch of cinnamon, touch of lavender. Like I said, there's that apple note in the opening, but it's not all about the apple. There are some other fragrances out there. I know Avon, believe it or not, has a fragrance called Signature that has one of the nicest apple notes in it. Highly synthetic, but it smells really, really nice. And of course, there's also Boss Bottled by Hugo Boss, used to be called Boss Number no. 6. Um, so this one is not really all about that apple vibe. I know it might also get compared to Layton by Parfum de Marly, but hands down, the best comparison is Ultra Mall by Jean-Paul Gaultier. How similar are they? 90%. They're not 100%. And I think that was done on purpose, right? A clone tries to be 100% similar. A twist takes inspiration from another popular designer and niche fragrance, but tries to do its own thing there. And lately I've been playing around with a lot of other fragrances like Camera by Latafa, which is said to be an angel share by Killian Paris clone, except the Latafa has more agarwood. And so you'll see that there are these subtle nuances, right? In these fragrances and here with 9pm, I think it's awesome. If you want something that's gonna get you compliments on the sweeter side of things, playful, flirtatious, great for that nighttime environment, check out 9 p.m. by Afnan. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, not a very unique fragrance, smells wonderful, and the price is highly, highly, highly competitive, um, but it does inevitably take inspiration from Ultra Mall by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Longevity on this one is a great seven hours on skin, which is within average territory. Projection was good for the first 45 minutes of application. It radiated at an arm's length. It became an elbow's length scent right around hour five, five and a half, a skin scent right around hour seven. 
Versatility on this fragrance, it is a bit masculine leaning, I suppose, according to traditional standards. I think this one is great for a night out, uh, dressed up or dressed down. The price is affordable enough that you can wear it casually. You don't always have to save it for a special occasion, right? And I think this one might appeal to a younger demographic just on account of the sweetness. I think this one is great to wear in every season except for the summertime. Just don't wear it when it's too hot outside. I know a lot of people, if the fragrance is a little bit too sweet, it could be cloying. As far as the presentation is concerned, I think the name is really, really cool. I think it is kind of a playoff of 3AM by Sean John. And so a lot of brands have played around with that concept of naming their fragrances after different times in the day. But nevertheless, my final verdict on this fragrance is, if you're a fan of Ultramol by Jean-Paul Gaultier, you want something within the same vein, something that has more of an emphasis on apple rather than pear, something that is not as sweet, but still portrays a similar type of sweetness in terms of the source, check out 9 p.m. by Afnan, and it's super affordable. I bought mine on Amazon. I'm sure you can find it in a bunch of places online at a really competitive price. Nevertheless, I'm gonna drop links down below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by hitting subscribe, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. We'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.